Hi, this is Ben Clark with Kentucky and Mortgage Group. I'm going to be talking to you about student loans and how they can affect your monthly obligations. Depending on the type of loan that you choose, it can affect how it is calculated into your debt to income on your monthly obligations. For conventional loans, it's important to look at your credit report. There'll be a payment listed. If it listed as zero or deferred, you will need to use 1% of your overall balance. An example of this would be if you have a $10,000 student loan balance, you would take 1% of that and that would equal $100 in payment per month. This is the number that would be used as an obligation monthly towards your debt to income. On FHA loans, when you're looking at the credit report and the payment, it's important to select the higher of the two, either the payment listed or 1% of the balance. FHA will select the highest of the two. USDA loans are the same as FHA requirements, except fixed payments will count if not in deferred status. With VA loans, the VA has a multiple step process when trying to figure out what your monthly obligation should be for student loans. First of all, they take the balance and they will multiply it times 5%, divide by 12, and then have a resulting number. An example of that would be $10,000 balance multiplied times 5%, giving you $500. Divide that by 12, and that would give you a payment of $41.67. Now, when selecting whether that payment or the payment on your credit report listed, you must select the higher of the two. So if the payment from the equation is more, that is your payment that we will count towards your monthly obligations. This is Ben Clark with Kentucky and Mortgage Group. Thank you for listening. And if you have any questions in regards to student loans and how they affect your monthly obligations, please reach out to a mortgage broker. Thank you.